Okay, it's beer o'clock again on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today's beer is a beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing and it's their Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale. This one's coming in at 9.6% ABV. They are from Chico, California, USA. Big fan of this is a third 2013 bottle. Big fan of Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. I've tried their, I was drinking their pale ale just two nights ago at a party. Um, we can get it regular off the store shelves in the UK. And it's one that, it's a beer that you can always count on. You can always count on that beer being good. <sighs> Bottle condition beer. That's me gassing, should have left a little bit out. But there we go, we're seeing, it's nice and, you know, it's not too, uh, not too cloudy. But uh, look at that, look at the look at the sediment. I don't mind it, I know I've poured it in. Normally I leave a little bit to the end. Um, just through you viewers really, you've kind of said, look, um, just leave a little bit out. Over the years, picking up kind of all the different things I've picked up off of you guys, leave a little bit out, pour it in at the end, show the viewers. Um, but gassing away, talking about their pale ale, I've just whacked it all in the glass. So, anyway, this beer, is a lovely, lovely kind of cherry coloured beer. It's got a hint of amber to it. It's a one finger head. Lovely head for a 9.6% beer. It's slightly off white, but look at that. I love to do that with a beer, just to kind of rock it up. Show off that beautiful, wonderful carbonation. And the conditioning in the beer. Um, before we go into the nose, yeah, I just wanted to finish on, um, yeah, I can buy their Torpedo and their Pale Ale in mm, quite a few supermarkets in the UK. Um, always a great beer to fall back on. Um, not just to fall back on, but it's a beer you know that there's a certain level of quality to the beer that you're going to be able to go, right, I don't really fancy that beer on the shelf, or I don't really fancy that beer. You see Sierra Nevada Pale Ale or the Torpedo? Bang, pick it up because it's an interesting brew. It's a very nice brew and it's always good quality. My favourite, just to finish on it, I like their porter and their stout, but just to finish on it, um, my favourite so far has been their celebration ale, their fresh hop celebration ale. What a wonderful, wonderful beer that is. Um, really opened my eyes. One of my, still one of my favourite beers, but unfortunately we can't get it in the UK too often. Um, okay, I better get to the nose on this beer. I've been gassing for a while. Mmm, loads of, um, like a spiciness, a brown sugar. There's toffee in there. Like a syrupy maple, like a maple syrup in there. A little touch of alcohol on the nose, but again it's 9.6, you're going to get a bit of that. It smells very, very, very hoppy for a barley wine. Which you come to expect from these guys. So I'm going to dive in, I'm going to let you know what I think of this beer. Mmm. Wow. The hoppy bitterness. It's it's well it's a, it's a licorice. It's it's a hoppy bitterness, but then it kind of it really is strong on the back end, but it's it's hoppy, it's licorice-y. Spicy. It reminds me a little bit of a Belgian strong ale. Chock full of American hops, but you really can't understand the 
the malt base to this. It's a big, big malt base. It's 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 sweet, but the mouthfeel is there. It's a very, very complex beer. It's 2013. It's been brewed this year sometime. There you go. There's a lot to kind of study and, and think about with this beer. There's a lot of different flavours. And that flavour there, just picking up a flavour of, it's like chewing lemon peel, really kind of big bunch of lemon peel, oh, chewing it, an orange peel, it's a mixture of the peels, it's, it's a very acidic, sharp, I would say sharp, bitter taste, but it's that level of hops that, that's in there and it's the hops that they've used it's, it's kind of given for me that peel that, that lemon and orange peel taste um, it's lovely it's a really nice brew the yeast also is playing a big part in the beer it's it's given a level of fruitiness and dryness that I'm, I'm enjoying a lot But them hops, them hops mixed with the the licorice. It's a complex, it had me thinking for a while. I need a few sips. Keep talking. But just have a few sips, just to kind of work out what's going on. And to try and pull apart licorice, orange and lemon peel in your mind is a difficult thing to do, but that's what I'm picking up personally. It's, it's licorice, spiciness, um, yeah, and, and lemon and orange peel. Um, it's a beer that's also for nine point six percent. I keep I keep mentioning uh, the ABV, not only to just kind of tell you guys, but to remind myself <laughs> because it's such a drinkable beer. It really is just kind of. Ooh, it's slipping down, but you've got to be careful. You can't sip along on a near 10% beer and, and you kind of chug it back. So, another big flavour I just picked up is just a level, the level of sweetness. It's full on sweet in the malt up front. Moves over to licorice, moves over to lemon peel, moves back over to orange peel. And then maybe a bit of the kind of juicy, fleshy orange and lemon in the middle. But I've mentioned orange, lemon and licorice enough. So let me give you my final thoughts and a rating. On Sierra Nevada Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale. Brewed and bottled by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Um... I picked this up in a local bottle shop, discount supermarkets in, in Cardiff. Um, I went on Beers Europe and placed a second order and, and bought a second bottle um, completely by mistake and realised I'd already had one in the fridge, so I'll probably let Mrs. Real Ale Guide have, have the other bottle of this. Uh, and she might trade me one of her nice German beers you got stashed down there in the cupboard. Um, but anyway, back to this year about a Bigfoot Ale. I like it. I like the way the beer looks and sits in the glass. I reckon that would be a... You've got to look at the saleability as well when you're reviewing a beer. Lovely, lovely way the beer looks in the glass. Lovely tastes. For me, all day long, this is an 8 out of 10. It's a very solid beer. 8 out of 10 for me, the Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews. Cheers.